Moving on, hundreds of human rights uh, activists on Saturday east the street of Lagos to condemn what they describe as economic and financial crimes commissions anti democratic approaches to issues of law enforcement as well as the unjust application of state's power by the federal government. Now, the anti corruption civil society organizations numbering over 120, along with a huge crowd of members and supporters, stressed that the actions of uh, the federal government in the ongoing face of between the FCC and former governor of Kogu State, Yahaya Bello, took an ugly dimension during the week, suggesting that the bone of contention was beyond the FCC as a size in its constitutional responsibility. According to them, from the facts and documents obtained on the matter, the FCC never sent a letter of invitation to ex-governor Bello, as such the issue of evading arrest does not therefore exit. Exist. Everybody is presumed innocent until found guilty by a competent court of I mean, law. Now, so why is it that Yara Bello's case is different? I don't know Yara Bello. I've never met him. I, I've not had, I didn't have any link with him. But he's a Nigerian like I know. And he's, he, he has the right to his fundamental human rights. And if we allow it violated with impunity, then it can be any other person's turn anytime. Then they will say that when it was being done to this person, what did you do? Why are you interested in it? But this is not the first time we did it. Like I said, we did it for Raouf Arabi Shola in Osho State. We went to prison twice. So what are we talking about? And we have always been on the streets. And that is why we are here. That Nigerians should not be taken for granted. We will move more crowd if, if the government invite the military, if the government does not observe the rule of law. Now, the anti-corruption activists and human rights crusaders specifically condemned the military action threatened by an EFCC lawyer. Now, the chairman of the Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, uh, Kalkal uh, Deba Denira, who led other activists during the protest, noted that the ongoing disregard for the rule of law was not only about Yahya Bello. He called on the federal government to first obey all the court's orders preceding their own actions in court and then go ahead to vacate them through due law, uh, processes of law. The activists warned that government should not instigate anarchy, insisting that democracy is governed by the rule of law and not the rule of force. They should allow the judgment from Kogi High Court to be obeyed first and foremost before appeal is heard. And if the appeal vacates the initial judgment, we know that uh, that judgment has been vacated. But they should know that what is good for the kills is also good for the Ganda. The man who understands uh, 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 the rule of law had gone to court and uh, got in an injunction, restraining the FCC or other uh, anti-corruption agencies from arresting or intimidating him. Even the EFCC that is going up and down, trying to use ultraviolet means to get him arrested, protested, appeal, I mean, sorry, appealed such ruling. And even it is the, 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 the thing is coming out, it's, it's going to be had on Monday. So why can't we wait for that before you started, you started coming to say, okay, we are going to declare, we declare him one time, you said you are going to bring the military. I mean, that's no more, that's no, that's no more uh, fighting corruption. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.